Okay guys, so the time has come to move some cleanup crew in my natural terrarium. Now in EcoF there is actually tiny, tiny little bugs that break down poop. And there's also fungus gnats, which I personally hate because they get everywhere, but apparently their larvae actually eat any fungus or anything like that. So that's kind of cool, but they are really annoying. Anyway, I have decided to introduce isopods, also known as wood lice. I was looking at different ones online that people suggest and one of them was a European wood louse and I was like okay I have tons of them in my garden but don't worry I didn't get them straight out my garden. Basically about two years ago my mum uprooted this plant and the whole roots was made up of this massive wood lice house. I don't know kind of they live in colonies or anything but anyway. Um, and she was just gonna throw it away and me being me I had a spare like tub thing and I was like no 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 I'll take them <laughs> I don't know why and basically I put them in this container they were in there two years and they're thriving they've been breeding over and over generations of wood lice and so what I did is I took the youngest ones and some adults and put them into a separate tub this smaller one which had eco earth in and it also had um, chopped bits of leaves from the plants that are actually found in Isla's terrarium so there's like some curved up leaves because they're dead but that's just so they actually know what the diet's going to be and what to break down so they could get used to it. That was actually done probably back in June that they moved into the second house and now it's getting very cold outside I decided to bring them in and now Isla's tank is settled I thought let's just move a few in. Um, Isla doesn't seem to be very interested in anything that moves, including waxworms. So um, she's pretty much all about the rapashi food, so hopefully she won't try to eat these. Even if she does though, it's not the worst thing that could happen. Okay, so as you can see in Isla's tank, she's actually up in her coconut hide at the moment. I made it for her and I thought she might use it, but not as much as she actually does. She's always asleep in here. Anyway, um, a quick thing about wood lice. Obviously they break down the organic matter, so anything that's near the plants that are dying. But what happens with why wood lice and worms and beetles and stuff are so vital to the ecosystem is because they, they can make the soil more fertile. So then that benefits the plants. And obviously for my crested gecko that means she has more things to climb and hide in, so that's great. And not only that is when she goes to the loo, that also helps the soil become fertile. So it's this really awesome ecosystem working together to improve the whole entire tank so I think that's pretty cool anyway the wood lice are off and away and I'm sure they're going to spend most of their lives under the soil and under the driftwood but hopefully they should improve this tank even more thank you very much for watching guys and goodbye <laughs>